On Tuesday, Kenosha voters can say yes or no to a proposal that would ultimately raise taxes in order to hire 10 new police officers in six new firefighters. Kenosha resident Kathy Lashley said she plans to vote yes. We need that staff to take care of us in the city. We've had a lot of problems in the past lately, so the more help we can get, the better off we are. The police department just hired five new officers, but Kenosha Police Department Lieutenant Joseph Nazalik says they are still short. He says the need for the 10 additional officers is great. Gun violence uh, is, is plaguing, it seems like, every community in the United States. Kenosha is not immune to that. Fentanyl is another huge issue. I mean, there's countless lives that are lost to uh, fentanyl overdose. Kenosha's 8th District Alderman Dave Mao was the lone council member to vote against putting the issue on the ballot. He told us, quote, I strongly support our police and firefighters and believe they need to be well funded. However, what my constituents and I don't support is raising taxes. The city needs to fix its debt and development problem in order to free up funds. For a $200,000 home, the tax bill would increase about $60, a price some say they're willing to pay. I just think we need more police officers on the streets, increase in crime. Um, I know it won't completely solve the problem, but it'll help. Reporting in Kenosha, Cyria Sandlin, WISN 12 News. The department is currently looking to hire for positions that are available and funded.